first, um, which is in hiring patterns of the small firm, and how an activity and the race of ethnicity and political coworkers are interrelated. So if we know about Indian represent a big population of the po uh, big portion of the population of the US, especially the national working population, around 50% of 2019. Immigrants uh, not only they represent a big part of the population, they also represent a big part of the growth population rate. Just recently, that just 56% uh, of the US not in the national growth population is uh, accounted to Hispanics. So the inflow of this uh, large population uh, and how that affects the host economy, the local economy, it's very interesting because there's no clear consensus on how uh, locals are really affected, whether positive or negative. It's still a lot of uh, strings to put together, especially on how business owners and current workers are going to, in general, respond to this flow of new workers. So I try to make analysis on how business owners and co-workers or current workers affect current workers, when I say current workers, locals and immigrant workers are responding to this flow of uh, new immigrants, our new Minnesota and how the, the process of assimilation could be uh, responded to those changes. So I look at hiring procedures, like hiring patterns, of how, whether the owner type influence the type of the new worker, uh, and what I mean by type of co uh, owner and type of co-worker, I talk about whether if the, co if the uh, owner is immigrant or the owner is native, is that does that influence what kind of worker, whether the worker is Hispanic, Asian, white, black, or immigrant, or no immigrant, and how the co-workers inside the firm actually affect the probability that a specific type of worker is hired. And can this bias be explained by the presence of social networks? And I want to see kind of the same neural analysis, whether the ownership change the different address payroll for different type of worker, whether there is a freedom of working with people that uh, share similar cultural background, share similar ethnicity and activity. So we're going to try to see if this could be explained by some of the social uh, networks. So my contribution as part of the thank you to the uh, research is that it's one of the first uh, work that at national level link owner's characteristic to worker's characteristic. So I can see who the owner of this firm is and the characteristic in terms of race of ethnicity and the race of ethnicity of the of the workers. And I can follow that to the of the across time. So it provides some evidence that owners and co-workers actually affected hiring opportunities, so the probability of being hired in the firm. And not only human capital is gonna have implication of wage differential, also there is some wage differential across what kind of firms that you end up to be hired to and which kind of co-workers you work with. Immigration, and again, there's two some evidence about how immigrant assimilation is working in some other sectors and especially the use of social networks. So the hypothesis I've been working on is that firms, the, the hypothesis of social network here is that firms can use the current workers to find new workers. So they use the social network of the current employees to find future employees and positive relationships, kind of like the myth calls in the 7-Eleven Home Depot effect. And, uh, but the, this, how these owners can take it advantage in some way of, the, of, the, of their uh, employees' social network depends on the, the social background. Immigrant owners probably will know better how to express or how to use their immigrant workers' uh, social networks rather than immediately hiring an immigrant worker or looking at uh, the current worker, the immigrant current worker. So immigrant employees should have this uh, advantage compared to humanity when they try to exploit immigrant worker connections. Obviously, there are some alternatives I don't always have to think about. There's other stories also out there, such as employer discrimination. So whether it's just that the employer has a discrimination against a group or in favor of a specific group. So maybe immigrants just want to hire other immigrants, or maybe natives just want to hire other natives. Uh, or matching productivity, common language. Whether well, I was going to use the buzzer, but maybe this is not the place that you. <laughs> but um, definitely, it's so weird when you go to Chipotle and you don't find the, the person from a few that speaks like Spanish. Um, but uh, definitely, um, there are some we can see when we go to a Mexican restaurant, when we go to an Asian restaurant, you tend to see people from Sydney 
not back on who's not back on. So whether that is that the, is that what explains all the social networks of just matching productivity? So for me to uh, kind of account for this alternative explanation, what I do with this kind of discrimination is that what well, if that's true, then I don't see that native US Americans only hire the US Americans, regardless of how many Indians work in the firm. But what's happening really is that when immigrant firms, so when native firms have more immigrant workers, the probability of hiring another immigrant, it's very high. So really they are also using, taking advantage of this cost efficient technique of filling any vacancy in it. So they just, just are not as, as good as uh, immigrant employees. And matching productivity, I take into account the sector where the firm is located. of their size, and 
magnetic, high and low magnetic, 88%. In terms of uh, worker type race and ethnicity, mm, immigrants tend to hire more likely, well, obviously in general, in terms of number, they're going to hire more white or more native just because in numbers they are higher. But if compared to an average term, they hire, um, sorry, term four, they hire very close to more than prob probabilistic uh, like people. So immigrants tend to hire more Hispanic and Asian, and natives tend to hire more white and in some cases black. Uh, who do you work for since you want to also the distribution of wages? Well, immigrants, and this is an immigrant owner firm, average uh, salary significant are higher in statistically I higher than But in average, immigrant firms pay lower rates than native firms. In native firms, immigrant and native businesses have a higher statistically given that immigrants are earning lower wages in native firms. But the demand is not as big as immigrant and native in an immigrant firm. So these are the very interesting findings. How do you start? How can you explain this result again? Well, firms, they can use formal recruitment or informal recruitment. Use of network, networks, so supposedly are more uh, uh, costless and sometimes more efficient because you can know about the productivity of the worker, given that someone else recommended this person. You can predict, given that you know your current workers, you can predict how good the future workers could be. And, um, and also workers think that the use of informal uh, social networks to find a job could be very efficient because you can also know who your boss is going to be. So I use some models, I'm just going to talk about models for a few minutes. And um, this is where the numbers I found accounting for um, the race and the skills around the areas where the firm is located, here down the industry, the state, firm size, because obviously even though these are small, medium size, you can, you can tell that um, once you use more, um, once it's going to hire a small amount of workers compared to a bigger size firm, the community characteristics, the legal form of the firm, and whether they are legally suspicious in the in co-workers in the firm. So 67% are accounted for any unobservable factor that is constant across time for each every firm, the probability that the share of immigrants increase, uh, when the share of immigrants increase, the probability of hiring a new immigrant increase by seven, almost 70%, 67%, and very consistent across uh, all the different workers. Now, in terms of hiring uh, different workers with different uh, ethnicity and race, no, I do not. Many, uh, uh, higher triple, uh, Three percent is only more likely to hire white, and almost two percent is more likely to hire black. But immigrants, if you notice this too, end up being three percent is more likely to hire Asian and Hispanic, and that's what you looked at when you think about that. It's just a difference between this point and this point, this point and this point. So three percent is two to six percent percentage point more likely to hire Asian. And so, conclusion, working at a firm seems to try to match the characteristics. Through this way, my, my claim here is that social networks are 